Nothing's coming out! Keep trying. Everybody and thank you and welcome to another edition of Perry Caravello Live. I want to thank everyone out there that has sent me loving, get well wishes and uh, sweet warm hearted letters and stuff online and and things. It, it's it's an honor. Okay. Uh yeah, I've I've had uh, a bad uh, week since last Wednesday. Um, today's Friday, not two days ago, but I mean the week ago, uh, Wednesday. So, yeah, and I'm not going to get into the whole mess that happened to me here. But, uh, I was attacked and I got hurt a little bit and, uh, oh, shoot. There's the, I, I, I was starting to clear up and. The bruise is starting to clear up, and you know, you see the jaw that should have been broken, but it wasn't, thank God, uh, for how hard I was hit. But, uh, you know, little Timex commercial takes a lick and it keeps on ticking. Hey, Perry, so how are you? That's how I am. Is Tom, uh, is Tom out there? Yeah, I am. You can oh, take that yeah. earbud out of your I'm not on anything. Just. Oh, on the speaker, this? you can hear me, right? You take the, yeah, take that out. I gotta put it in slow the, motion, in the Perry. Just take, just put it on the deck. No, don't dart up. Just take it out. Uh, your bruising looks a lot better from when I saw it last. Yeah. Uh, but uh, just to make uh, a quick announcement, we're not going to talk about anything that happened uh, last week going forward for the time being. We're not going to get into thank you uh, any details. Uh, Thank so you. I think we've, uh, discussed everything we needed to discuss. So we're going to move past that for the time being. Uh, but Perry, you. you had a busy week. So I saw a lot of video of you at the rainbow bar and grills 51st anniversary. It was a blast. It was a blast. And I'm glad uh, I went, uh, I, I just am sad that I was unable to go with angel, but it was a blast uh and having uh garrett and his friend there the other bodyguard there um i forget his name and uh john you were there with john and garrett <clears throat> john and garrett tony couldn't make it unfortunately he got sick but uh, you were there with john and garrett so there was no hotel stay like you were what do you mean why well what you, you mean were you were assuming uh when uh, if angel friend. if angel if angel came down she wouldn't be staying at a hotel she'd be staying with her friend right but so. you kept saying that you may or may not go back to that hotel so that's the reason why you couldn't go with garrett i don't know what you're talking about of a hotel okay well people people watching know what i'm talking about because you kept saying uh, i i don't know what could happen i could, there's a possibility i could go back to uh, the hotel with angel and uh, that's why I cannot have Garrett with me. I cannot drive with Garrett. He will meet me there. That's what you said. But I, I, I don't know. I, I don't understand what you mean or what you're talking about or any of that garbage. No problem. By the way, I noticed that uh, that uh, Perry the Hutt uh, painting that fell down uh, over a week ago has not been fixed yet. Just let it sit there. Oh, the best friends thing. Yeah, it won't. It, it won't stay up. I keep br putting it back up, and it won't stay up. All right, well, just get new. Uh, get another adhesive on it. You got plenty of them. Anyway, listen. So Perry did that on Sunday. He was rocking out all day and night Sunday, and then Monday, you were about as wiped out as I have ever heard you. I was done. Like, <laughs> I was done. Like. That was that was a, a concert from from 2 p.m. 
till 10 p.m. Yeah, but guess what? Maniac got there at 10 a.m. Well, I got there in line. I was the third person in line. You were the third person. There's no way. How could you not be the first person at 10 a.m.? I wasn't. I was the third. So there were two other maniacs looking to get into this thing. Right. Okay. Well, before we get to that, I just want to apologize. We did miss the stream on Monday. Once in a blue moon, you know, we're going to have to miss the stream. People don't like that. But uh, Perry was in no condition to, to go on the air. If you think he's like, you know, uh, low energy Perry uh, half the time, this guy was like not even making complete sentences. I was sentences. dead Monday. Like he, I was he, dead on Monday. He was napping, and, and we kept playing it until like late in the day. I was like, how are you feeling? And he was just like not even Go being on. comprehensive, uh, not even making full sentences, like just talking gibberish. He'd be half asleep, and I'd be like, all right, Perry, why don't you take a nap, and I'll I'll call you back. And I don't know, I don't know what time we finally made the decision. It was like, I don't know, maybe around three thirty. No, it wasn't that late, but it, I don't know, maybe about a couple hours before. And he goes, and, and you know, and Perry actually asked me. See, I told Perry last week, I said, hey, why don't we take off Friday and rest up? He wanted to do Friday. Like, no, no, I want to go on the air. And then for Monday, he asked me, he's like, can we please not do the stream today? I am not feeling well. And what am I going to say? Am I going to like force him to do the stream? No, of course not. So, and Perry very, to be fair, Perry very rarely asks to like not do the stream. Uh, and he just yeah. wasn't, he wasn't up for it. Plus he had a, he was still recovering from what happened last week. He had a rough week. He had a long day and night Sunday, which he was entitled to have some fun. So you know what? And then plus Garrett was ripped too. And then our producer Jim had like a really bad strep throat, like really bad. I... And I was kind of fried too. I had a long weekend and a very busy day Monday. So it was, it was fine. So Table. it all worked oh. out that we took that day off then. Yeah, and we said we might try to do uh, Wednesday as a makeup, but uh, Perry had a lot of appointments on uh, Wednesday. He had to get his uh, staples removed from his head, which he did, and that appointment like took forever, and he was basically in the doctor's office for forever, to the point where it would have pushed into the, the start time, and we just made the decision, like, hey, you know what, we tried, it's not going to work, and then Perry had another appointment after that with somebody else, so it just... Right. There's no way Wednesday could have worked out. So here we are Friday. We're back on track. Oh, and I will make a show note uh, starting Monday. We got to go an hour later. So we're going to start instead of at 4 p.m. Pacific, we're going to start at 5 p.m. Pacific. And that's kind of going to be the summer schedule, at least now through July, because okay. I'm actually uh, coaching uh, a little league and uh, the games kind of run into uh, Monday. Uh, okay. And. It's going to be. It's. It was cutting it a little too close, so I'm just pushing it an hour back. I hope that works out for okay. everybody. So it's a 5 p.m. Oh. Pacific, 8 p.m. East start time on Mondays, just for the time being, just for you know the end of April, May, and June, and then we'll see anything past that. <clears throat> but I want to get so back. real quick. Yeah. So real quick, you're 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 pretending to become Walter Matthau in bet in the Bad News Bears. Uh, pretty much. I should start drinking on the job too. <laughs> pretty much i've been doing i've been doing it for the past oh, couple God. of weeks so it's uh it's that's, been, that's it's, cute and funny it's that's been, cute it's and been funny. interesting to say the least but listen i want to get back to sunday i, I got some video is footage it t-ball or real softball it's i mean i mean uh, little it's, league it's 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 t-ball it's t-ball it's okay. fire so it's t-ball you, yeah. you're basically just teaching the fundamentals of the game sure. but anyway cute. um those kids are so cute when they're that young yes I, I, well there's a lot. There's a lot going on with uh, you know, teaching kids how to play a game <laughs> but, uh, that they've never yeah. played before. But anyway, listen. I want to get back to Sunday. Uh, Garrett it. put together a lot of great footage. I'm going to play some of it. it a lot of it's yeah. on a Patreon. There's a whole. If you want to get a Perry fix and see the whole uh, encounter, uh, head over to our Patreon, Patreon.com/slash Perry Caravello. Garrett put together like a full 30 minutes of the whole day. Uh, at the Rainbow Bar and Grill. But Perry, I want to hear from your perspective from waiting like a maniac uh, from 10 a.m. to actually getting in there. What was it like? Was it worth the wait? How was it? It was every band did an amazing job of performance. Every band from start to finish. Um, and then lo and behold, 
this big guy comes up to us and in a mask and, and, and he's got tons of clothes on. And of course, the big guy with the mask on is Lizzie Borden himself uh, to see me and to say hello to me. Wait, and the Lizzie Borden is a man? This Lizzie Borden is a man, yes. Wait, are there other Lizzie Bordens? Well, the original Lizzie Borden that uh, uh, killed her mother with forty wax with a with an axe, and then killed her father with forty one. Or okay, right, I know that story. But the the, the musician, yeah. the musician's a man. Oh, I, I I didn't know that. Okay, all right, sorry. Continue. Yeah. So um. Yeah. So uh, he welcomed me, and you know, uh, we we both talked about uh, how how we miss Alex Nelson. The original guitarist from the band, and uh, and of course Alex's wife Angel, my close, close, close family friend, lives living up in Northern California. That that invited me to this, and was unable to come down because of the tenants in her place. So uh, I, I understood that and uh, felt bad about her not being able to come down. But she's like a little sister to me and stuff so uh, and i love her to pieces and everything and i i thank her for the invite and i'm glad she actually invited me because i would have forgot about the anniversary of the of uh 51 years like i forgot last year's anniversary to show up for for that anniversary so now that i know that it's on uh 416 every year um and on 416 is also gina carano's birthday uh, that's why I went like this, and oh uh, yeah, <laughs> so yeah, it's Gina Carano's birthday, and she should have been there with me, but uh, of course she's with her family and and things, so uh, family and friends for her birthday. So um, yeah, I had an amazing, amazing time. Should I get the shirt from the the concert? Because being no. the first hundred people, you get a free shirt when you come in. You pay the entry price. Oh, no, 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 don't dart up. No, I'll play the video and you can see you wearing the shirt. Oh, okay. Okay, so you got the shirt on well, the video. Here's you, here's you first arriving. This is just a little clip. So, Fair, what time did you get here today? Early. Were you the first one here? No, I was the third one in line. The third one in line? What time? About 10.30-ish. Okay. But actually, when I got here, there was nobody here when I parked at the uh, um, Shamrock Tattoo. So I walked over to the uh, gas station, got a couple of drinks, and then uh, walked back. You got drinks in there? I had drinks in here. What'd you have? Um, I had a monster, I had a rock star with, with uh, this cup, and then I had another. Um, so you smuggle drinks in here? No, I didn't smuggle drinks in here. But I got two drinks when I got here at the location. It's a nice shirt, though. You got this for yeah. free, huh? So that's, that's the, shirt. the shirt. That's the shirt. That's pretty cool. First anniversary rainbow shirt. Right. So they must have not had an anniversary last year. They waited a year. Yes, they did. They have an anniversary every year. I just I like forgot about the date. So. It looks good on you. Yeah, thank you. XL. As the, you got I it. Asked, I asked for double and they didn't have double. They only had XL. Wow. XL. Well, it looks good though. Thank you. Um, what am I thinking? I, I just miss Angel. I just miss Angel. Yeah. Yeah, my family friend. She's a doll and a half. Over to pieces. Glad we know each other. All right, so can we hear some back and black? Can we get a little back and black? No, Come on. Larry. Come on, no, baby. it's not my fucking song. Yes, it's my band. It's not my song. My songs are all the songs. Give us a little bit. Just the beginning, please. Please. Here we go. Dana, dana, dana. Back and black. And the sound. Back along and glad to be back in the sound. Let loose. From a noose. My voice is so ripped. I can't Keep going. sing. Come on. I can't. I got the nerve because I never die. I got night lives, cat's eyes, cruising everybody. Because I want to buy. Because I'm back. Yes, 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 I'm back. Yes,
Can I just say yeah, something, Perry? Like every this, time, every time you refuse to sing it that you don't want to, you go into like the perfect cover. Like you, you're just made to do that. Like you, you just. That, uh, it's amazing. I disagree with you because my voice sounds so ripped. But that's what the and, that's and what it should trash. sound like for that song. You you really shredding it. It's good. Anyway, by the way, shout out to our pal Rick, who's in the background there wearing that killer Joe Bob Briggs uh, Monster Vision shirt. Uh, awesome uh, shirt. I don't know what's a better shirt, Perry's shirt or Rick's, but it, was Rick a good guy and John a good guy and Garrett a good guy? You had a yeah, good time? Yeah, everybody was, everybody was polite and uh, respectful and stuff. Vodka for so vodka. No, vodka. not for me. God, I'm not Bond Scott who was always drinking alcohol like an idiot. Anyway. God, he drank more alcohol than than <clears throat> they produce alcohol. <laughs> um. So, but good day overall. Oh, it was a great day overall. Overall, from 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 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Amazing day. I mean, from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. Yeah. That's, that's, you know, Garrett told me that he was really, like, dead on Monday. And, you know, Garrett's, like, in his 30s. Like, you're, you know, you're, an older, my, you're an older guy. And, uh, so I can only imagine. I couldn't do that. I can't do that anymore. Like, me personally, I wouldn't It's be like going to Disneyland. <laughs> it's like a day at Disneyland. Start at like six in the morning. You drive down to Disneyland. You get in by eight a.m. Uh, and you leave at like one in the morning. Now, did you eat there? Like, did you have a couple of meals there, or how how'd that work? I I I um yeah, I had lunch inside. I I sat inside and had a um, um I had a sausage sandwich with a small so, small salad with the sausage sandwich. Oh, that's. Strange. Don't you usually get the salad? That's at dinner time. The Chinese chicken salad. Okay. Did you also get dinner there, or was it just one meal? One meal. No, it's just one meal. Okay. Just one meal. Okay. That's great. Um, well, I wanted to take take the guys out for a bite to eat afterwards, but then uh, at the end of the concert, uh, we all got a table and everything, and then Garrett says, "Now nah, let's just go home." Yeah, After you guys are probably pretty beat. Yeah, he, he was wiped. I was wiped. Everybody was wiped. Uh, one thing That's I wanted to like, mention, uh, last Friday, uh, a gentleman uh, paid you to put up those Get Well Soon balloons for Monday. But since we didn't do Monday, uh, why don't we agree to do that for this coming Monday, okay? The balloons that you received last Friday, you still have them, right? The Get Well Soon balloons? They're in the bag. Mm -hmm. That. No, not that one. Did you already start blowing them up? Oh, no. I, I just want a confirmation that you have them. There's... Oh, this stuff? Oh, I don't know. I can't see anything. All right, I guess. it's These are balloons. But I didn't realize they were get well soon balloons. As they well, look... There's something of that nature. Okay. How long is this going to take, Perry? I just want to just confirmation that you have them. Okay. So I got I got something in this bag. Oh. Okay. All right. Me. Listen, Perry. I don't want I don't want to take any more time. Okay. This, this is not going to be a six hour stream. Okay. But anyway, it's not. It's not. Yeah. Well, they're not really get well soon balloons. They're a little different than that. Okay. Whatever you call them, we're going to. Uh, do that. You also got to set up that other microwave for Monday because we haven't had like a normal stream since uh, your incident happened. Anything? Yeah, I think great. when I mention something, you don't got to bop and, and look towards it. Okay, just 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 go with the flow. And yes, then um, what was the other? Oh, by the way, did you ever do the laundry to get that towel sent out to to the gentleman who purchased it? I haven't done my laundry yet. I'm going to do that over the weekend. Okay. Well, you know, to be fair, Perry's uh, had some incidents, so uh, things things have been delayed. Uh, somewhat, yeah. but it looks like you're back to your normal happy self for the most part. Most okay. part. Normally. Yeah. 
And you were supposed to go out with Garrett this week to the steakhouse, but I think everybody agreed it's been a lot in uh, one week, so we'll put that off for another week. Another week. Oh, and uh, Jim reminded me. Uh, you know what? Let's do this today if we could. Can you get an egg, please, from the refrigerator? I know you have one. Can you please get an egg from the refrigerator? This is for Allie's egg. All you're gonna do is just write "F cancer" on the egg. Okay. Jim, just just remind me exactly what goes on the egg. I know it was F cancer for Allie. Allie did this like a couple of weeks ago, and she wanted it underneath the air conditioner, and it's the least we could do. Perry finally got eggs, so. I knew one of those things was going to get in the dart up, but this is, of course, important. Uh, while we have a moment here, I, a number of people have asking are asking me about if there's going to be a meetup in New York City after the Pottstown gig, and I. As of right now, I don't know if we're actually going to New York City, but I will find out probably by Monday. So, for those of you that have been asking me. Okay. Okay. Um, Who does eggs? Yeah, let me just, before you start writing on it, um, I guess red is okay. Okay, so Ali says F cancer, or you could actually spell it out. How about F cancer? That's more appropriate. F cancer, in as big letters as you F. Can. And then at right after cancer. Below it, cancer. Sure. C. A. Does she have cancer? She had cancer. She beat she it. She had cancer? She beat it. And I think she's, well, not to give uh, all her information away, but I think she's, uh, uh, hopefully entering into remission so that's good, good for her yeah it's great great news and congratulations and uh, some other Allie. people that i know that uh what what breast cancer uh, you know what we don't need to get into specifics of it you can say yes or no that's fine with me well we're on the air so i don't want to blow somebody up f cancer like why don't you freeze there hold it up and freeze for a second so she can get a nice screenshot of that Okay. All right. Now, I want you, if you could tape it to right below the air conditioner, that would be great. Like where the wire comes down. Christ. That'd be awesome. Thank you. All right, Ali says it's okay to mention it was leukemia. She says. Oh, that's even worse. Yeah, that's not nice. That's, that's not pleasant. And congratulations for beating that not horrendous fun. disease. Any disease is not fun to deal with. Bottom line, but. Uh... This is not going to stay. Well, why don't you put it like where the wire is, like have the wire brace it a little bit. Not going to stay. We'll do a good job taping it. Again, it's moist over here and it's not going to fucking stay. Do you understand what I'm saying? Just do your best and don't worry. Yeah, I will fucking worry. If it falls on my shit, jack off.
Nice job, Perry. Thank you. Why don't we start off today with some mailbag? Oh, you know what? You wanted to announce something. Let's before you get up. Before you get up. Hey, Perry. Also, can you just adjust, uh, adjust your crotch area? It's unusually tight today, and people are complaining. Where, where are you darting off to? Announce, but uh. uh... Right, Perry, I just want you to sit down and adjust your crotch area. Before we get to that mail, Perry, can we get to the letters that you received that you were complaining about earlier? These. Now, Perry, open these. Okay, this this is the last one I'm going to go to because it's the most polite letter. Okay. But, but this expl one... Explain to me, explain to the audience what the deal is with these. All right. Every letter that came, these three letters, and I'm going to give the three uh, celebrity names... Uh, there was a, 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 you know, 52 pickup card in there and the card had a, a gentleman naked pornographically, you know, either masturbating or doing something, uh, gay and it, it's completely wrong and it's not allowed to be shown on the screen. Okay. So this one is first from Margot Robbie. And it says, Perry, Margot Robbie has never heard of you. Every celebrity girl who has ever written you back has been one of these, one of these uh, Love Ronnie McDonnie. Love Ronnie McDonnie. You know what? You're full of shit because, uh, yeah, sure. And here's, here's Jennifer Aniston. Now, when I... When I, Jennifer Aniston, am fucking Brad Pitt, I'm really fantasizing about a bloated, fat skateboarder or, or snowboarder who uh, binges on blocks of cheddar cheese, <clears throat> filling his junior one-bedroom apartment, one-bedroom shithole Reseda apartment with more methane gas in Don Barra's basement. Every inst Insta girl has had one of these love Ronnie McDonnie. <laughs> Fuck you, you weirdo. And then this one. Okay. This Ronnie McDonnie weirdo is a fucking freak. Hey, Perry, you remember me? Danica Patrick. Because I'm not her and she does doesn't know you. Every single Danica online has one erect cock like this one. Yeah. Fuck you. Another one. Yeah. Well, Perry, the, the, the person who's sending those is making a valid point that all the fake female celebrities that you've spoken to on Instagram thinking it's the real person are really guys. And that part is true. Okay. You've always been talking to guys anytime you thought you were talking to a Scarlett or a Jennifer Aniston. However, they shouldn't send you naked cards. We can't show those on no, the No, exactly. Air. Uh, so exactly. it's kind of counterintuitive, uh, with, with the message. So going forward, Perry's not going to open envelopes like that. Uh, if they, you know, contain uh, trading cards with uh, naked guys on, uh, okay. Now that that's out of the way, why don't you open another piece of mail bag? That's actually the last mailbag. letter. What is this? Says, hi, I am pair. He car, uh, jello and I would. Lie to let you know that I love to jerk off guys and I and I love when do come come shoes haul ho for my phase slurp smack yum. What a fucking stupid, stupid. All right, throw stupid. that away and get a real mailbag, please. Yeah, thank you. More more dorky garbage okay garbage now real mailbag let's grab a real knife yeah blade i love blades that work Okay, close the blade. 
And what is this? Perry Caravello. All right, dear Scaremaster, okay. Huh? Dear Scaremaster, enclosed is a sweet and lovable gift for you, as I know that you are a fan of NASCAR and Danica Patrick. Please, as a favor to me, listen to Tom and don't give him a hard time today. It's rare, but I know sometimes messages come to come to that you don't like. It's rare, but but no, sometimes messages come in that you don't like, such as the 1992 related ones. Those fans are just immoral demons for uh, bringing up RC and the penises that uh, were, were pleasured that day. Okay, I hope you, I hope you pleasure this gift as great ha pleasure this gift at least half as much as your mother's credenza, and that it is displayed in a place of prominence. Warm regards, Baca, B-A-K-A -A underscore uh, Mikinoya, Mikinoku, M-I-C-H-I-N-O-K-U. Okay, whatever that means. Throw that away. What is this? This is something. Danica Racing. A nice box. Take that box out. Let's see what's in here. And it looks like a helmet. Oh, cool. It's a Danica Patrick racing helmet. Uh, of course, it's it's only, you know, for display like 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 it's it's a a it's a GoDaddy Danica Patrick um, racing helmet that she would be wearing, but of course, it's not a real size helmet. So, just a display helmet. Well, so those are really cool and cute and all that good stuff. So, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for whoever got this. And uh, looks like Danica signed it in, in her first name, not her first and last, just her first. Danica. Well, you can try it on. You can just put it on to see if it, you know, stays. This on your doesn't head. sit on your head. Try it. She sent you a. There you go. It's gonna fall off, of course. Well, speaking of something on your head, I have an offer here. If I can get to this, just uh, put this uh, to the sides. Throw away that box, by the way. Please don't keep that box and then blame me that your place is cluttered with boxes. This is a box you can throw away. I can't believe I have to tell you uh, the boxes to be trashed. Obviously, if you want to keep that, put that to the side somewhere. This will go. This will go. You know, you can do these things after, Perry. I like to run a streamlined stream on Fridays. Uh, we have an offer here from our friend Bert Macklin, and he's offering $50 for you to wear a Mike Lindell towel on your head, wrapped like a turban for the rest of the stream. That's 50 bucks just to wear a towel on your head. I don't know how to do a turban thing. Well, you don't thing. have to do it like... You don't have to do the uh the whole like actual turban thing you know how like women wrap a towel around their head when they get out of the shower just try it. it's got to be a my pillow towel though not the we go uh... pee as well so. oh okay well you're gonna pee as well well there we go so you get your pee your sneaky yeah. pee in and then come back with a mike lindell towel so that'll, that'll be fun Well, while Perry's peeing, I'll just say uh, thanks again for all the support for everybody that uh, showed to Perry. 
uh, over the past week. You know, uh, it made Perry feel good. It made me feel good that people had uh, Perry's back after uh, the events of last week. So I wanted to uh, say my sincere thanks as well. And thanks also for people for understanding that, uh, you know, we had to miss Monday. Because trust me, if Perry, if Perry went on the air on Monday, it would not have been a very uh, engaging stream. It would have been just uh, dead air. Dead air. And you know what? People work really hard on their media shares. And it's not fair to the people that support really quality media shares if Perry's just going to be half asleep and not engage with them properly. So, you know, that has to be taken into consideration too. So we'll be back at it on Monday, business as usual, an hour later on Monday, 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific start on Monday and going forward through July. I do have to take a week off in uh, June, at the end of June. Uh, but other than that, business as usual. Is that a mic? Here's how I'm going to wear the towel. I'm not wrapping it. I'm just going to lay a hand towel over my head. Okay? No, see, Perry, that's the Perry way. That's the lazy way. No, no, you got to at least make an effort. Is that the biggest towel? No, like a real towel. That's like a this hand This is a hand towel. towel. Yeah, a real towel, Perry. See, he's trying to get out of it and do it like the lazy Perry way, just like he does everything else. But <sighs> we're not going to let you do a towel scam. Or turban scam. Uh, did Perry go to court? Did Perry do this, that? I can't answer any of those questions. I hope you can understand why. Perry, just a full towel, please. It shouldn't take that long. The King of Dead Air is back, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, what happened to the um, the uh, wrestling painting that was hanging over the blinds, Perry? How do you wrap these fucking things around your head? Perry, what happened to the mud wrestling with you and Gina and everything uh, that was hanging over the blinds? What happened to that one? What are you talking about? Well, I don't know how oh. more clearly I could say that. Oh. The, the mud wrestling painting right that was hanging over right the blinds. Okay, we'll get that back right here. on Monday. Right here. Okay, got it. Uh, <laughs> that's better. Now, this is a. Can you prove? Can you show the tag? Can we prove that this is a my pillow towel? My pillow. Okay, well, can you sit down and show it? Oh, there's like a weird amber look to this apartment. Is that did something just happen? My what are you pillow. talking about? I don't know. It was like a he, like a different hue that happened with the. Uh, what are you talking? Was there a saw... nuclear explosion outside your window? Oh, well, now it's what? gone. I don't know. It was just there was just a weird. There was a weird like uh, color change to the palette of the the apartment. It's gone now. So. Oh, it's it, you know it's something to do with the towel. The towel is throwing off the color balance, I think. Like the camera has an auto color balance and I think the towel throws it off. You know, wrap it around your head to make it look like a turban. A turban. I don't know how to do that, okay? Yeah, I know. well do your best. There, this yeah, is the way I'm it over. It. Okay, we'll settle don't for like this. It. That's your problem. It's 50 bucks, we're not gonna take all stream. All right, can you sit down and do this please? Shit. I don't know how to fucking wrap a fucking turban. Hey, Perry, I'm not into that. Perry, I'm can, not you a... sit, can you sit down and do this, please? God damn it! Why are you yelling? Because you don't sit in a fucking chair. Well, you the... when you're hosting a stream, yes, you do. Not when you're fucking putting a goddamn towel on your head to... Whatever. Fuck. Perry, do the best job you can possibly do. We're not looking for perfection here with you. And you know what? This is good enough for me. This is good. That has a turban-esque look. Okay, if we want to change it later, we can. Okay, let's move on. I don't know what that says. So. Uh, well, it was a subscriber notification, Perry. And what do you say to oh, those? Thank you for subscribing.
I don't have my glasses on. I'm not going to have my glasses you on because of this. You look pretty Friday. I can stop by with prescription pain pills. We could hang out, you know, party. Maybe put on a Fleetwood Mac CD. I don't have, uh, I think I have one Fleetwood. I have one Fleetwood Mac or one Stevie Nicks. Somewhere in, uh, in my collection of CDs. Fontaine is wrong. Terror on the Prairie was not a box office movie. It was as made for a streaming service and did well. Fuck you, Fontaine. Very nice for you to say. Why was that uh, write-up uh, saying that you only got like 800 and some odd people going to the theater to see your movie? Why, why was that write-up like that? It's just... The wrong have right up to ever have. It's just very, very stupid and very wrong. So, mm. I'm sorry to hear what happened. We all love you and respect you. I'm sending over a carton of Marlboro Reds to help you relax. Have a... I don't you. smoke! Me, my friend. And I'm holding hands. fucking, fucking, stupid motherfucking cigarettes to my fucking house that go in the fucking trash, you fucking asshole! They don't come in my house, they go straight to the fucking garbage, you fucking lowlife! Sending over a carton of Marlboro Reds. Straight to the fucking garbage bin. Never in my apartment is a goddamn pack of cigarettes or a carton of cigarettes. Straight to the fucking trash. And I'm not going to announce that I'm throwing them away. You fucking loser. God fucking damn it. Trying to turn me into a fucking smoker now? Fuck you. Fucking assholes. <laughs> What's this I hear you're doing a double decker with Gina? If anyone gets to, it's me. Now bring me some frozen turds to Pottstown and we'll talk. Frozen turds? Girl, you're a fucking freak about that stupid frozen... Oh, shit. I'll see you in Pottstown. Fucking maniac. Oh, my God. Well, speaking of maniac, when you were yelling like a maniac earlier, you messed up your turban thing. So you can t try to rewrap that, please, so it doesn't look like it's just the rest around the head. Oh, fucking it, look, it's not gonna fucking happen, okay? It is, Perry. Just it's not gonna happen, you stupid fucking asshole. You don't have to call me names, Perry. I just want you to do any kind of turban esque thing, if that's the best you could do. You know, I'm not looking for perfection here, Perry. I'm just looking for. Uh... All right, all right, we'll go with this look for now. <clears throat> that towel is murder on your camera. It keeps changing the color hue. Round here, they call me Queen Dane of Butthole Mountain. As my secretary, you will be the second most powerful person at the asylum. I mean, regular hospital dollar. What the fuck? I mean, a bunch of weirdos. Welcome to Perry Kerrville Live. In the psych ward. Hi, Perry. I hope you're feeling better and had a rocking time at the rainbow. How many women did you cuddle and kiss? Kiss Mark. God, I, I, I don't count how many women do I cuddle, cuddle, hug, and kiss when I go to the rainbow. There's... Uh, I normally see Lena there. Lena was not there. She was on the probably on the road with her boyfriend, boyfriend possibly husband by now, since they've been together for over a decade. Um, yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea. I would say at least. But did you run into half. anybody you knew uh, other than who you came with? Like, did you bump into anybody like friends or you know people you knew from? Uh, other th other than other than knowing Lizzie Borden and the band. Um, 
like in the crowd. I didn't. I didn't pay attention to uh, who was who was there. I mean, I didn't bother people. Other than there was one girl off to the side that uh, you know I got friendly with. Um, that was basically it. I wasn't really uh, uh, looking to um, get close to anybody. It was like one or two girls that I that I saw that I knew. Wendy was one of them, and Perry. I wanted to let you know I'm sending some SNL talent scouts to the Pottstown show. We need a few more cast members next season. No pressure. Well, that's nice. Thank you. But I'm not moving to Florida uh, or moving to New York. Um, I would have a, a split uh, residency, that's for sure. If, if you're seriously looking to hire me, uh, Mr. Lauren Michaels, I, w I would be honored. And that, that sounds very... Very honorable and very, you know, thank you and I'm honored. Seriously, thank you and I'm honored. It's Ronnie McDonnie. You saw a man's dong? You took a shower with a man? You ripped off a man's towel? How long did you grope man's dick? Did he press charges? It's this bozo that's sending me these stupid pictures? Are you fucking kidding me? Get off my get off my stream. Get, get get just get the fuck off my stream and have nothing no, I want nothing to do with this. Ronald McDonald. Your food is shit, and now you're sending me shit in the mail? You fucking idiot. It's Ronnie McDonnie. Kenny gave you a Castro oil cleanse. How did Castro cleanse you? You let Fidel Castro inside you? Kenny helped. Three-way with Castro? Why in the fuck are you bringing this story up? God, that was back in the 80s when I was, when I was sick. Um, that also when uh, uh, Kenny's doctor found, my brother Kenny's chiropractor in, uh, in Phoenix, Arizona, found out that my neck was broken. So... Um, I don't remember the, uh, the colon cleanse thing. Um, I, it was a nature sunshine herbal, herbal cleanse. Um, I don't remember what it was all about at the time, but, uh, but, um, yeah, I, my brother, my oldest brother, Kenny, and when he had a wife back then, they uh, gave me a colon cleanse, and uh, uh, God, that was like 1981 or two when that happened. You know, 80, 81, or 82. One of those three years, 80, 81, or 82. Because I got a muffler is when you roll up toilet paper and put it up her butt crack to soak up her blood poop and mucus. Will you wear oh, one of us and stream up. and show us our stains? Shut up, you idiot. Ugh. Gross. Good work recording the aftermath of your ass kicking last week, but next time please be sure to record the beating itself. Amy and I can help. Boxing glove, boxing glove, boxing glove. What the fuck are you talking about, dumbass? Oh, boy. Perry is a liar. I was on my mother's patio when he grabbed my ass and my dick and he tried to rape me. He was naked and hard. I was defending myself. Next. This guy's a fucking moron. Fucking idiot. Hey baby girl. 
I got two brothers who are gonna make you the meat in the middle of their filet of fish sandwich. Don't worry, I'll make the tartar sauce. Not interested. Bye. Next. Disgusting. Hey, baby girl. I got two brothers who are gonna make you the meat in the middle of their filet of fish sandwich. Don't now worry, I'll make the tartar happens, sauce. Sir. Oh, God. My God, this is just disgusting. Hey, baby girl, uh, this oh, turban is uh, not looking like a turban anymore, so can we no. adjust it? Hey, Barry, do you actually have any white towels you can use? This thing is murder on the I don't, I uh, no, no white towels. You don't use a white towel? I, 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 I find that towel. hard to believe. Do you have any other color than this White color? towels I have for auto detailing, and they're not big enough. Okay, do you have any other towel than this towel? Because that that uh, that towel is sometime uh, somehow messing with the auto color correction of your camera or something, and I don't have the uh, ability to go in and turn it off. You can use the mental hospital towel that you have in the laundry. How do I put this thing on my head? Just wrap it around, Perry. Just wrap it around. Wrap it around. Oh, shit. It doesn't have to be even a Middle East turban. It could be like an urban turban, you know, like you see. I don't know how to do any of that. Part. <laughs> like, whatever. Just like. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's fine. That, what you're doing is fine. That's good. Now come and sit down. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for subscribing. Atsu, thank you. Reminder that during the steal of Thonda, please respect the credenza. It is the most important relic to be removed from Bunny's Act 102. Well, you know, motherfucker, if you try to break into my home, you're going straight to fucking jail, Jagoff. Got it? End the story over and out. There's cameras all over the, the apartment complex. Okay, there's cameras everywhere besides my ring camera. So, again, there's cameras everywhere. Thank you for subscribing. Why did you stop selling skateboards? Maybe if you had made them with 100% American maple like terrifying Tempur-Pedic, you would still be in business. Uh, idiot. That's exactly my board. It's exactly what my boards are made out of. 100% Canadian maple, not American maple, Canadian maple. A stronger wood than you can ever imagine. Canadian maple wood. American maple. Where do you find American maple? Because maple's basically out of Canada. Maple syrup, Canada. Maple wood, Canada.
I don't know how to do this. I'm just gonna leave it like that, okay? Perry, come slurp up my man juice, you know you want to. My cum is your nectar to life. I miss our special night in 1992. Your cock was so small. Never, ever, 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 ever talk to me again. Block this fucking loser's name. I don't ever wanna hear from this fucking freak. Lying bastard. And why, why, my cock is so small. Why did my girls love my dick? Victoria Givens, Linda Johnson, uh, Jenna Jameson, Jasmine St. Clair, uh, and, and all the other girlfriends that I've had, okay? Oh, Christ. I pray. Why don't we get some more mailbag? Mm. Go, let go. A magnet and it should be sticking out of something like a refrigerator. I don't have a refrigerator right in front of my computer. Okay. Okay, okay. And this is a book. It says. How to restore your body, the water fasting, heal yourself, feel better, and guide weight loss with water fasting. Oh, okay. Is there a uh, note with that? There is. A gift. Hold on. I know it's hard for you, but can you at least make an attempt when someone pays you fifty dollars to do something? Like that, that looks okay. What you mean? Yeah, it's just anything. Like you, you look like a sultan there, but you know, any anything, just just an attempt. What I, I turn it and then anyway. Now, now let me put glasses on so I can read. Mr. Caravello, we are excited that you are doing another water diet to lose all the disgusting fat on your body. Please read the please read our book. But note that drinking Drinking semen is not allowed on our diet. I don't drink semen, so thank you. From the Reseda Diet Company. Well, that'll never happen. Fuck. Ah. Put it underneath the intro. And then set you back. <clears throat> Do you have any big boxes, Perry? Anything that you know you want to get over with? Big boxes, not that wouldn't fit in the bag. This okay. boxes over there. I'm not going to open them today. Why not? You're All always right. you're always complaining to me that you want to get rid of these boxes, and then here's your opportunity, and you're just going to you're extra lazy today. I think. No, I'm not. You are. You can't do the towel thing right. You don't even want to open a box because I don't God... know how to fucking wrap a turban. Right, but you don't even want to get out of your chair to get a box. Like, that's pretty lazy. 
Put the well, put at least put the ta- were just sent to me. At least put the box back uh, the box back on your head. The towel back on your head. It's not going back on because I don't know. No, how it to is, Perry. Wrap- you were paid to put it on your head, and it is going back on. I got news for you. It is going back on. Fucking moron. Stupid. Cow wrapping turban crazy. Crap, garbage, stupid shit. Do you have a headband? You can put a headband around it to keep it in place. Do you have any kind of headband? Or a rubber band or anything like that? There you go. That's perfect. Oh, this is bullshit. This is fucking bullshit. Now, Reese's is sending me peanut butter? What the fuck? I'm not... Look. Look. I keep getting these four-pound, five-ounce jars of peanut butter starting today. Starting fucking today. I am throwing away every fucking jar of fucking peanut butter this fucking big. Got it? Today. Perry, can you stop slamming every, things? It really affects the camera when you're acting. Every fucking jar this big is going in the goddamn trash. Right. I just asked you to stop slamming things on the I'm desk. I'm fucking fed up, you fucking losers. Okay, but can you stop slamming things? And is there a note with that? Can you please read the note? I thought you took it out. Sorry. Mr. Caravello. We want you to switch from Skippy to Reese's Peanut Butter. Please dip your fist in the jar and give us a review. I'm not dipping my fist in the jar. Fuck you. Make sure you you wash it off before uh, giving any... Oh, God. And I... It says, please, please make sure and wash it up before giving any hand jobs. Uh, though from uh, Reese's peanut butter. I, I'm t- I'm tired of these these demoralizing, disgusting, fucking remarks. Oh shit! Got a beautiful helmet from Danica, and now this crap. Right, well, maybe the next one will be better, Perry. Why don't you grab it? That little box. Yeah, little box. Fuck me. Down. Good. Thank you. Now this box. Receipts or what? Is it? I have no idea. Um, maybe medical solution. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you seriously, seriously kidding me? Oh no.
find out what's in this bag. Nothing. Why don't you read the note first? That's the thing. There, there is no note. What's on the, is that just an invoice? What's on the desk? These are fucking catheters. Disposable fucking catheters. Are you out of your fucking mind? Oh, sick. They're, they're, that's what they are. They're disposable catheters. Like a male condom. So every time you go pee... You, you you got a a bag to fill. Can we can you show one? Can you at least take one out and show one? I'm not putting any of this shit on. Are you crazy? Ultraflex. Self-adhering male external catheters. So there's what it says, and here's here's what it looks like. Okay, you can't really tell. So I gotta open this. So in other words, as I do this stream, put this on. That's all. Yeah, it's, it's an open hose. This goes on your penis, and then this goes into a, to a bag or something. I'll never wear one of those. And that's what the entire... Yeah, that's what the entire uh, box is. What a waste of money. Somebody sends me a, a catheter. Why would I be wearing a catheter? I mean, I remember well, when you do you do pee a lot, Perry. I think maybe yeah, I know I pee thoughtful. a lot. I I do pee a lot. Yes, but uh, God, oh, oh. somebody in the family when they were one of my uncles when they were uh, sick and died. I believe my uncle Jim when he was sick and dying had had to have a catheter on. So, all right, I got a couple of offers here, Perry. Now what? Uh, first offer is from Matt C, and it's twenty dollars to have Perry tie the front of his shirt into a knot. Essentially, take the bottom of the front of the shirt and feed it through the neck and pull it down. Very easy, easy twenty bucks. <coughs> so you basically take the bottom of the shirt, pull it up through the neck, and pull it down. Huh? Pull it, pull it over the neck, like through the through your neck, underneath, and tuck it down, and then pull it through. Right, right. Just grab it, pull it through. I've done this before. You actually have done this before. Like that? Pull it through. You got to pull it through. Pull it. Pull it. Pull that thing down. I'm not pull. destroying I, my you're shirt. You're not going to destroy the shirt. Just pull it down so it doesn't undo itself. Just please pull it down. That's it. Yeah, see, Perry, it's going to come undone. It's already becoming undone. You got to pull it down a little bit. I'm not destroying my shirt. Well, Perry. This is a very good fucking okay, shirt. Okay, then, then you don't get the $20. Fuck you. Then you don't get. And Perry, put the turban back on with the bandana, please. Freak. Yeah, yeah, call me all the names in the world. You can't even figure out how to put a towel on your head. Okay. Uh, I don't do those so no, things. so Matt C, don't send any, don't send Perry any money. He couldn't even do that uh, simple task. Uh, offer not accepted. Thank you. Well, don't thank me that you couldn't do something simple like that. I don't want to do it because it's it's just. No, Perry, it doesn't ruin the shirt, Perry. It's a shirt. It's fabric. 
Put this through this through this. It's not gonna fucking work. It does yeah, yeah, not yeah, work. It does. People do it all the time. People do it yeah, all. Yeah, and destroy property. It destroy doesn't. Your, it doesn't. I'm not des destroying my shirt. It doesn't destroy the shirt at all. Not at all. It doesn't destroy the shirt at all. You've done this before, and the shirt snaps right back. It's fabric. If you don't want to earn an easy twenty bucks, then that's on you. No, leave that on. Leave that on, Perry. Hey, gotta be on. This, come off. Okay. You want to see my fucking body? Here it is. Now. Okay, but you're not getting paid for this. Explain to me, like a real human being would do. Here is the neck of the shirt. Right. When you take the bottom and you throw it through the top. Right. Yeah, and you pull it down, Perry. So it, it's it's like cinched, right? People do it all the time. Whatever. And and girls do it. I'm not a chick. Okay, so Perry, then say no. Okay, and get that turban back on because you were paid to wear that. Don't take it off again, or I'm gonna have to. I... Fuck. I, I didn't ask you to take off your shirt. I don't know. You didn't make any point there. I don't understand what that that lesson was supposed to be. The stupidity. Yes, that I agree with. <sighs> All right, Perry, I have a Tom's tip here for you. Remember what Tom... Hey, Perry, I'm sorry. Is this is this a two bit... Too, you haven't done a stream in a week. Is this too much for you right now? Like, No, know? it's just my, my, my shoulder blade hurts. Okay, can we, can we pull it together? You know, I, I gave you... I'm a, doing what I'm doing. I'm here. Okay, I mean, I gave you a lot of leeway this week because you weren't feeling well, but come on, can you can you pull it together for today? I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, okay. So I have a Tom's Tips here. This is from our friend Jack H., and uh, what are Tom's Tips, Perry? Well, all proceeds of Tom's Tips go to Joey and Garrett, okay? Uh, for much-needed funds for our trip to Pottstown and possibly New York. I say possibly because there's a little snafu with New York, which I might get to uh, at some point, but I'm not going to get to it now. Um, but anyway, if you'd like to submit a Tom's Tips, Tom's Tips are read by me, Tom. Uh, these skips the... TTSQ, send an email to pcloffers at gmail.com if you'd like to do a Tom's Tips or a stunt offer or just whisper uh, Jim PCL in the Twitch chat. Okay, this one is from Jack. Perry, it was so nice to be able to see you rock out and have such a great time on Sunday at the Rainbow Bar and Grill. Really looked like a good time, but it broke my heart to see all that bruising on your face. Can you please tell me how many hot guys were in attendance and did you get any phone numbers? I don't pay attention to men. Uh, there, were th there, were, there were at least a minimum, a minimum of about three to 5,000 people at the event. I mean, when you turn around and you look and you just see people everywhere, it was incredible. I, I don't I don't look at hot guys. I don't pay attention to men. I mean, I have male friends and male people that I associate with and deal with. But again, I don't pay attention to hot guys. I'm not a chick. Thank you for subscribing. Eat shit, fucko. We both know you raped me. You sucked me down like a milkshake. You fucked my tight asshole. You come to my ass. Fake coma bitch. I want to sue this fucking freak. I want to sue this fucking freak. Either his name is to be blocked or I turn the fucking computer off. I am tired of this stupid shit. Perry, don't I never want to see his name to on turn, my fucking computer again. Don't threaten me to turn your computer off, Perry. We go through that no, every time. No, no, no. I don't want to see his name. Yeah, oh, right, Perry. I heard you, but hear again. me. You're not going to threaten to turn the computer off. Thank you. <sighs> I know that you're actually Cirax video game. Leave me and my friends and my family alone, or I will use my stylus on you, bitch. What the? What are you talking about? 
What is a Cyrex? Well, I know nothing about Cyrex video games. No, nothing. No, nothing. I'm not in that world. What does fat gay lazy mean getting fat? Perry Francis Caravello, the man who sucked me down like a milkshake and farted in my face, giving me pink eye. No comment. Nothing to say about this freak, demoralizing, disgusting rape artist that spent five years behind bars for uh, raping somebody. So, uh, and if you're going to say that you know nothing about that, well, that's your fucking stupidity because you're an idiot. Hail Satan! Get that stupid fucking remark off my screen. Get it off! And no, I'm not saying have the well, no, thank you for subscribing. Fuck that guy. He's not worth thanking to subscribe. He's not the one that said Hail Satan. That was you. It was your voice. Don't take it out on the guy for subscribing to your channel. I, no, wrong. I didn't say Hail Satan. It was audiograph oh, okay but that, that that's automatically generated perry it's that that guy who subscribed did not know that that was going to come up so you you do owe him a thank you for subscribing thank you for subscribing but uh that audiograph voice of me saying hail satan is bullshit okay i would never say perry you are sitting funny will you feel around her taint area for wet lumps with her finger Taint cancer is the leading cause of death for Italians your age. What the fuck? What kind of cancer? Taint cancer. T-A-I-N-T. What is taint cancer? I never heard of it before. Taint cancer? Thank you for subscribing. It's Stan. Hey, you think I could swing by and get any of the food you get delivered today? Also, I need some money. I need help faking a coma like you did. You're not allowed. I want nothing to do with you. Go away. Oh, these fucking assholes. He's another idiot. Assholes. Perry, do you remember me? We had hot, sweaty, gay, homosexual sex on March 19th, 2009. I miss you and want to have gay sex with you again. I love you. I don't know you, never heard of you, don't want to know you, and that'll never be true. Sick fucking loser. Glad to have our scare master back streaming again. How about I gift you four filet fish sandwiches with extra pickles for old time's sake? Go away. Go away. Stay away. If a McDonald's bag comes to my house, it's not coming in my apartment. End of story. It's not coming in. Ouch, ouch, How dare you intentionally miss my birthday to get drunk and high as fuck instead of getting pegged by me. You better suck all nine inches to make it up. Oh, really? You're Gino, you're not Gina. I don't know a Gino Carano. I know Gina Carano. And uh, for me missing your birthday, no, I didn't miss your birthday. I was busy at a, at a 51st anniversary uh concert for the rainbow bar and grill and you could have been there girl i could have had you at the concert with us and uh you know 
Yeah, of course, Angel was unable to come down from up nor- uh, from Northern California, but you could have been there as well. You know, I didn't say if you have a house that's your house, you could go home after the concert. I'll go home after the concert, unless you want to come home with me after the concert, okay? All right, Perry, why don't you get to some more mailbag? You got a lot to make up for because you didn't do I got a lot. Last week. I got a ton to make up for. Okay, so this. let's get some of that. Just remember to look for notes when you open these things. Yeah. And also, when you spend time reacting like, oh, my God, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Please note that the stream can't see whatever you're looking at. So your first <laughs> thing should be showing it to the stream. First. Sorry. Let me get my glasses on. Read stuff. I'm doing this. Are you serious? A leg bag? For the catheters? Are you serious? You gotta be fucking kidding me. I mean, that could be handy if you're out somewhere and you don't, you know, have access to a uh, men's room. Yeah, sure. Never gonna use it. Never gonna wear it. That's that, yeah. That in twenty years it'll be it'll be handy. But again, for the next twenty years, I'm never gonna use it. So uh, this is a waste of money and a waste of uh, an item. Yeah, yeah. Here's here's the item. Guess it wraps around your leg. All I can say is my heart goes out to the folks that have to wear these. That's all. Yeah, my heart goes out to those people. And uh, for me to be smart about this, um, I am going to keep this in case I really ever need it. Seriously, ever need it. So I'm going to set you on the floor with the other half a trillion flipping nutty crazy. There's no, there's no letter in this box. Just a. Uh, Yeah, just the uh, uh, yeah easy leg bag. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, you go in there. What the 
Okay. Mr. Caravello, here's the toy microwave that I ordered. I didn't order a toy microwave. You can safely microwave this microwave inside your microwave. <laughs> As it is microwave safe, please do not immediately or you may lose your Costco membership from Costco. So that is not going to happen. Why did somebody send me a toy microwave? It's ridiculous. It's redundant. It's stupid. I'm not a child. This is absolutely stupid. Goes in the crack. Goes wait, in wait, the wait. What is in that? What is in that microwave? Is that a turd? What is in there? No, it's. Christ. It's for five-year-olds and older. Okay. I don't know what's in here. It looks like a uh, looks like a turkey. Yeah, it's, it's I would consider it being a, a, a turkey. Can I see it again? Oh, okay. That's well, a turkey. Like maybe a chicken or something. Okay. Yeah. You want it for your kid? No. 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 See? Okay. God damn it. Hold on. You go there. Stuff. What are you doing? Stuff trying to. Wait, these are things you can do later, Perry. Stuffing things shit. that Perry can do later. Uh, okay, listen, I'm going to need your utmost attention. I have a pretty good offer here for you, okay? W what, what towel is this that you're wearing? This isn't the... Uh... Why are you giving me the computer? I just asked you such a simple question. What, the, ta what towel are you wearing? What do you mean what wearing? towel is this? This? Yeah. It's the towel that I have on my... On my okay, uh, it's, not uh, the one, it's not the one from the Insane Asylum. Maybe it's another one from the... No, I've I've got the other okay. other. Okay. There's a reason I'm asking. So there's an offer here from our friend Lou Lou Sasshole, and he's offering seventy five dollars. So take heed in this, Perry, and don't yell at me because this is a good offer for seventy five bucks. Okay, you remember you were you were off on Monday, so you didn't get any offers. Uh, to scoop a baseball size handful of peanut butter out of the jar that you got earlier and place it on top of your towel turban for the rest of the stream. So it's not even going on in your head, it's just going on the towel. 75 bucks, easy. Oh, fucking Baseball stupid. size. I'm fucking really, let me go piss. Wait, 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 Perry. Uh, all right, hurry, hurry up, please. More dead air. Hey, turn the chair around at least when you go pee. Turn the chair around so people can see that it's the dead air chair. Thank you.
Okay, so you want to get a baseball sized scoop of that, please. You know what a baseball is? Uh, yeah, I know what a baseball is. About about about. Yeah. Baseball or a snowball? Sure. Either either way, either way. I gotta open this fucking thing too. Son of a bitch. But life is hard. Yeah, it is. Pain in my ass. This is gonna be grosser than fuck. Oh, you morons don't give a shit. Um from now from from this moment forward glasses are off and they're off for the rest of the stream. So if I uh, think need to be read, you're reading them. How am I going to read something that you get in the mail? Um, it's online, dick. No, it's not. Things that you open a package and there's uh Oh, that looks gross. Well, forget about it then. That, it's not going to be read. All right, put it on your that, head. That... No, you'll do your best job to read it. Put it on your head, please. Don't smear it. Just put the glob on. There you go. It, it, it would be it would behoove you to put it on the center of your head so it doesn't slide off. The top of your head, not to the side of your head. Well, a little late now. All right, a little bit more because that's not quite baseball size. A little bit more. Just to qualify for the... You want to put it on the very top center. See, now you're doing the back. Top center. That's where it is! <laughs> All right, that's good enough. God damn you! And you're not allowed to wash your hands until, the, uh, until tomorrow. Go fuck off, asshole! Right. It's a little uh, stunt off for humor, Perry. Wasn't really serious about that one. You can, of course, wash your hands. Perry, just a quick rinse and come back. You know, realize that you're streaming. What? Realize that you're streaming. You know, this does not have to be thorough. Just a quick oh, rinse. My goddamn ass! Motherfucker! Shove it up your fucking ass! You don't have to scream and yell at me, Perry. I'm just trying to get you back to your chair so you can do your job. It doesn't take this long to wash your hands. King of dead air. Why are you calling me names? This fucking goddamn stupid ass moronic stunt is fucking moronic. But I, I'm not the one that came up with it, and I, I just all, all I ask is if you want to take the money to do it. That's all. That's all my position is. Why are you calling me names? Well, we're not doing any more. Okay. Well, you could save the rest for whenever. And I'm not fucking up my goddamn my vacuum cleaner. I'm putting this shit in my vacuum cleaner. Fuck you. Fucking asshole. Perry, enough with the enough with the name calling. Okay? No, I'm not gonna be fucking happy or proud or fucking. I, I didn't ask you to be. I shit. didn't ask you to be happy or proud. I just asked you not to call me names. I don't have anything to do with this, Perry. Okay. Not getting vacuum. Pe up. Hey, Perry. Enough. Enough. Bitch. How many more names do you want to call me? I'm not calling some of You bitch, are. Not... You just did. You're on a tangent. Okay, enough. You got a delivery at the door. Can you please get that and bring that in, please? Thank you.
Can you sit down, please? The fuck is this? Oh, Bob Levy. Okay, that's a good envelope, but it's PCL so it's So, Mr. Caravello, we are glad that you subscribed to the Bob Levy Smoking and Vaping Club. No, I didn't subscribe to some smoking vaping club. Please enjoy this free cherry flavored. Va no, I'm not. No, go fuck yourself, asshole. What did you just throw away? I threw away his goddamn vaping. Well, let's see it, Perry. You can't just be a child and throw things away. People have to see these things. What is that? A vape? It's for it's for vaping. Okay, before you throw vaping. it away, just put it to the side and just. It's garbage, Perry. It's fucking shit. Right. I don't want anything to do with smoking, vaping, any bullshit. Fuck you and fuck you, Bob. Hey, right. hey, hey! hey. Bob's a nice guy. Smoke. Read, read the, read the whole thing from the top. Excuse me. Hey, hey, hey. No! Excuse me. Read the whole thing from the top. Mr. Caravello, we are glad you have subscribed to uh, Bob Levy's Smoking and Vaping Club. I never subscribed to Smoking and Vaping. Please enjoy this free cherry-flavored vape. All you have to do is open the box and suck. Please try it on, on your stream and give it one of your world-famous reviews. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I am not a smoker. I will not smoke. I will not vape. Out of the question. But is vaping really smoking? I'm asking. It is smoking, and it's fucking poisonous, and it's garbage. It affects your body. It affects your lungs. It's garbage. I am not doing it. Wait, what What was the other thing that you got? Was that it? And this. Okay, let's see what this is. This looks like... Denny's. We don't read receipts, so just open the bag. Ice cream. An ice cream. I just said we don't read receipts. Can we please just open what this well, is? I need to find well, there's what a, it well, there's is. a very easy way to find out, Perry, by opening the thing up and looking at it. That is a dessert. It's a dessert. It's a dessert. Okay. This looks like a chocolate cookie. That looks like ice cream. Oh, God. Never knew that Denny sold this. If you, you want, want any peanut it? butter on that, I know a place where you can get it. I don't want peanut butter on it. No, thank you. I'm not putting peanut butter on this. And that's all I'm having because I'm. That's with a cookie. Warm cookie. Here's the ice cream. How is that? It's butterscotch. I'm not a butterscotch fan. What is butterscotch? Is that like a caramel derivative or something? Um, yeah. Yeah, kind of a caramel. Caramel, caramel, tomato, tomato. Right. Anyway. Right. Uh, let me get to a couple of options. And now, Perry, you, you just mentioned earlier about a vacuuming. Well, 
That's fortuitous because there is a crowdsource offer uh, that involves that. So let me get to that first. Uh, crowdsource means that uh, Jim hustled pretty hard for you because he knows you had a lean week this week. Crowdsource for $200, Perry must take his fake shop vac and vacuum any food he receives today. That would include this. And uh, including the mailbag items and jar of peanut butter. And we can do that at the end. Very easy. Offer accepted. That's ridiculous. Well, ridiculous is our game. So maybe um, you want to put this to the side because that'll go into the shop vac later. When we when we wrap in about another hour or so. Um, that was a good one. Here's an offer from your friend Jennifer Aniston. What does she have to say? Well, she's offering $100. One hundred dollars for Perry. To, one hundred dollars for Perry to put the toy microwave into the Black and Decker microwave, then put the Black and Decker microwave into the Costco microwave in Perry's kitchen and set them Not all for ten minutes on high. Out of your fucking mind. Next. That would be like microwave inception. You can't put a microwave inside a microwave inside a microwave. Out of your mind. Done. Next. Okay. Can you stop saying next so much, Perry? It's really no, I'm not. It's very, very dismissive. Uh, all right. Let me yeah, get. Because it's fucking sick. It's disgusting. It demeaning and demoralizing. Demoralizing. Yes. I Pitiful. Know. All of the above. Okay. Here's a Tom's tips. This is from Perry Caravello. No, it's not. It's from a fucking liar who thinks it's. There's from me tom it's perry it's 3 a.m my time so it's 4 6 6 a.m your time i haven't been able to fall asleep because i can't stop thinking about all the hot guys i saw at the rainbow on fuck Sunday. off stop reading that right the fuck there you're disgusting you're despicable you're pitiful get the fuck off my fucking stream watching them dance and sweat rolling around with their muscles and smooth backs gave me Feelings that Gina and Scarlett could never give me. We need to cancel the stream for Monday because I am just too busy thinking about all these hot, sweaty guys I saw at the bow today. Oh, this was... I guess you left this voicemail on Sunday. What? I guess you left that message on Sunday because that's why you canceled I the stream. I never said anything like that on any day. Okay, and would it, not and will never say anything like that on says, any day. It says from Perry Caravalla, that's all. It could say that because it's not from me, you cocksucker! Okay, you don't have to call me names, Perry. You can clarify things better without name calling. Uh, here's the Tom's tip, and this is from our really good friend, Frank, in New Orleans. Uh, unfortunately, Frank can't make Pottstown. Uh, he was hoping to, but he can't, and we hope to see him next time around. Okay, these are uh, some Q and A's. I'll wait for Perry to get adjusted. Go ahead. All right. Question number one, Perry. Which do you love more, Stacy Peralta's huge tits, Dale Bozio's large cock, or Lizzie Borden's gaping vagina? None of the above. F. Mary Kill, Stacy Peralta. Dale Bozio or Lizzie Borden? None of the above. None of the above. None of the above. Hmm. None of the above. Number two. When I am in your apartment on May 13th for Steelathon, can I microwave a piece of bread for 10 minutes? None of. Get, you're not allowed in my home. Number three. Can you leave the keys to your mom's piece of shit Corolla when you go to Pottstown? Out of your fucking mind. I Dude, really just want the tires because they are worth more than the car itself. What? He's saying the tires in the car are worth more than the car itself because the car is like over 20 years the old. The car is old, but it still runs and it's still valuable to me. Okay, so I guess that's to be determined. Question number four. Can I take a picture of the testicle tiger... Can I take the picture of the testicle tiger out of the frame and tape it to your sliding glass door after I remove the security pin? Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I have security here that's going to make sure my home is protected. 
Number five, can I cut your new mattress up to verify that there are no gay porno mags or gay sex toys? I will tape it back up once I have verified that. You're not allowed in my home, period. P.S. I plan on hacking the security cameras so you are not able to monitor them when you are in Pottstown. Have fun at your, on your cross-country trip. Love, Frank, from New Orleans. See, that's where fucking losers like that <laughs> should be behind bars and never get out of being behind bars. Fucking asshole. Please provide measurements for AC, stove, bathroom sink and sliding glass door for the steel a thon Also how well is a toilet bolted to the floor? No oh, thank you. Next. Barry, I think you've reached your next quota, so... Enough. No, I will never reach my next quote! Next! No, what? not quote, quota, meaning you said it enough. So please, I'm asking... Hey, Perry. Tough. No, tough. not tough. As your director, as your friend and co-worker, I'm asking you not to say it, like a gentleman. So can you please respect my wishes? Thank you. It's very dismissive. I say it. But you said it enough, so how about just not saying it? Perry, it was nice smoking cigarettes with you. You smoke a lot of cigarettes. Thanks for sucking me like a milkshake backstage. You're a dirty man whore. That is not from Lizzie Borden. Would never be anywhere near from Lizzie Borden. He knows I'm not a smoker. I know he's not a smoker. Or at least, I hope to God he's not a smoker. Somebody's saying that they're Lizzie Borden. It's not from Lizzie Borden. Hello. Hey, PFC. I want to send you a Cool Burton snowboard jacket and matching pants. Size 5XXXXXL and 56 waist. Correct? Please confirm. Peace. Waist size is a 36, sometimes a 38, depending on the brand of uh, pants. Uh, and if you send a 5XXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXX
Perry, please stop saying that. I, I know no. you're no. I'm, I know Perry. I, I get it. You can say it's... you can say please stop saying that, but I'm never going to stop. Well, I'm being a gentleman, next. Perry. I can also say you know what? I'm not going to work on getting your Instagram back if you keep saying it. I don't want to have to do that. Okay, so I'm just asking you politely before I have to ask you oh. not politely. So how about that? Okay, can you can yes, you sir. work on it and stop being such a prick? Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Animal abuser and murderer, woman abuser, child abuser, coma scams, disability scams, casting director abuser. Perry deserves liar! no pity, only filet your Liar! Fish. Motherfucking liar! Get off my fucking show! You fucking liar! Perry, Valsurf has a special order your size 5XXXXL in 56 waistpants. Also, they tell me you're not a snowboarder and that you are banned. Can I go somewhere else? Why would I be banned? What did I do to them? Uh, you bought and returned two snowboards within the course of like two, three weeks. What? I, I don't remember that. Remember when you defiantly bought a snowboard and you were trying to keep it from us and then you had to return the first one and then you did it again like two weeks later and you had to return that one too and they told you not to come in there anymore? I don't remember, but okay. My mother used to say if you can go to the bow then you can do the show. You owe us an extra stream this weekend and all tips go to your employees. Today is Friday. Week's over. I have been uh, not feeling the greatest because of my injuries. <sighs> Who's at the door? It's a delivery. Hello. If you could please get it and be a gentleman. Thank you. Why am I being sent more food from the subway? Oh, can you sit down, please? Uh, you can take a look at this pair, but this is probably for the uh, fake shop vac at the end. But let's take a look. It is a egg sandwich with pickles all over it, and I am not taking one bite out of that. Out of the question. That's okay. The shop vac will be happy to have that at the end. So just put that aside with the Out of bag. the question. So I'm rolling it back up and putting it back in the bag. By the way, since uh, when does uh, Subway do breakfast? Is that a new thing? They've been doing breakfast for a long time. Really? Yeah. I never, I, I despise Subway, so I have no idea. I despise Subway. That's 
just put that to the side. Perry, this is Am Bruce Willis. Me am doing better now. Thank you for being so moot moot for Ching Chingy. Much booby ching. Demi says moot bang too. Well. Boop boop bing bing ding dingy do do do. So I'm sorry. Don't understand what you're trying to say. And the peanut butter on the top of my head is uh, starting to uh, spread out. And if it falls off my head within this next hour, uh, it's going to end the stream. No, it isn't, Perry. Uh, here's another offer from Lou Sasshole. $75 if this is an easy one, Perry. All you got to do is eat three spoonfuls of peanut butter from your turban and say, Mmm, where's my jelly? What you got to do is get a spoon and go from the, get to the top of the head and get three spoonfuls. And then say, mmm, where's my jelly? And 75 bucks. Full spoonful. I'm not. Not scam. Don't fuck with me. Hey, Perry, I'm not. Let me see the spoonful. It's got to be a full spoonful, not a scam spoonful. Full spoonful. God damn. It's very easy, Perry. Just scoop a spoonful from the top. No, it is not. You don't have to scream. Whenever you get it, it's fine. No, you can't take it off. I'm not trying to take it off. Okay. I'm trying to hold it on. Okay, it would be void if it's... That's not a spoonful. you got to get a little more on that. God damn. You're in the wrong position if you can look at the camera. I know it's hard because it's I'm on trying, a... I'm trying. I know. Trying. Go to the front more. There's a big reservoir in the front. Right in the front. Right in the front. No, no Perry, you're going to tip it over. No, 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 no. That's the side. Perry, you got to fix it where it's on the top of your head. That's not to, not to the side of your head. All right, spoonful number one. Fix that. Fix the turban, please. So delicately. Fix it, please. So, Perry, fix it, please. So it's on the top of your head. I don't know how to fix it, God damn it! You don't know how to adjust it so it stays centered like it just was. No, I don't know how to fix it with the with the uh, band on. Okay. Well, you got two more spoons, Perry. So let's get this going before you fix it. Why don't you get the two more spoons while it's easy? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's going the other way. What fuck are you? I'm having Why a hard time. Why don't you look at the camera, Perry? I am! It's about to fall off. As you, it comes off! You, no, Perry, fix it before it falls off, please. You can fix it with both... Use off. both hands. Use both hands and pull it the other way. It's very there easy. It there it is. Wow, how hard was that? Very hard. Are now you, it's falling everywhere. Because, you, because you, what you did. You got two more spoonfuls, so why don't you get the part that's fallen off? Two more spoonfuls, Perry. No, nope, that's towel. God damn! And I'm ending the stream early. No, you're not. It's uh. Clean this shit off of me. No, you're not. Because this fucking band is coming off. No, it's not. And I'm not eating it. No, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I'd be done by now? Yeah, you would be done by now if you didn't dart off. This stupid fucking headband. Yeah, Perry, there, you shouldn't there. have moved it in the first place. You have two more bites. It was coming off my fucking head, you fuck! 
No, it wasn't until you moved it. That's a lie. You got two more spoonfuls, and I would do it now so you can get the funds. You'd be done by now if you didn't dart away, by the way. You'd be done. Shut up, man. Well, just do it. I mean, how, I mean, what are you doing? You're wasting time. Just do it. Two spoonfuls. You're going to the absolute wrong place. Look at the camera. Look where all the peanut butter is. I, I give up. Look where the peanut butter is. It's on the other I side. I can't figure it out. God well, look damn at, you. Well, stop screaming. Look at the camera and go the other way. There you go. Now you're in a little bit more. You get two more spoonfuls. All right, that's one. And one more to complete the offer. Oh, um, now I will admit, and I will be fair because I get pissed off at stuff, that I will accept stupid shit like this. All right? But there's been a lot of other garbage out there that really drives me. And drives me through the roof, okay? Now we are done. Now let me clean this up. No, 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 Perry. Oh, excuse me. Just come back, please. If you're being so re Mr. Reasonable, uh, you're done with the eating. The turban still stays on until the end of the stream. That was the deal for that, okay? So you can adjust I'm it. I'm trying! Okay, instead of yelling. It keeps coming off! Well, you keep making it worse. There. Okay, there. You've darted off enough. Can you just use this an old... That's fucking ridiculous! That, that's fucking ridiculous! I thought you just said you'd be kind and reasonable for things like this and you're screaming and yelling. Now it's getting everywhere! All right, Perry, you still got to do the part where you say, mmm, where is my jelly? Right into the camera. That's the other part of the mm, offer. where's my jelly? Do it a little more sincere than that, please. Mmm, mmm, where's my jelly? Now. I am not... You're not what? Oh, fuck me. Where are you going, Perry? Shut up! No, don't tell me to shut up, Perry. We're doing the stream. Just do a, I just threw the spoon away, okay? Okay, well, don't tell me no to more... shut up. Stop being such a child. Let me go hook up, fucking hook up the vacuum cleaner. No, no, that's in a little bit. We're not doing that now. we got to finish the regular stream first, okay? So please be a gentleman. Thank you. Perry, you are breaking terms of service and are close to ban for slandering Randy Callahan. Tell the truth to have your oh, account reinstated. Fuck reinstated. yourself! Terms of service! That motherfucker's a rapist! That motherfucker's out of my life! Get the fuck off my show! You motherfucker! Out of here! Now! Perry, please sit down. We're not done. Please sit down. Fuck you! Fuck you. Perry, fuck please sit down. You. I don't deserve that, Perry. I'm not saying that to you. Please sit down, Perry. I'm begging you to please sit down. You were paid to do this. Please sit down. Perry, can you please stop darting and bopping so we can finish up? Oh, shut the fuck up! I got all this goddamn peanut butter! Shit all over me! Right, and you were paid for it, Perry. So, and and if you didn't... And it's getting my fucking apartment to a fucking mess! Yeah, cocksuckers! I'm done! The stream is over! Go fuck yourself! No, the stream isn't all over. All of you! No, the stream isn't over, Perry. And you can adjust that towel. If you didn't move the towel, it was fine earlier until you moved it. So just adjust it back, and let's get through it, and it'll be fine. You don't have to scream like a lunatic, okay? Let's just adjust it to the point where it's manageable and that's it okay please join us thank you i got a couple of tom's tips here uh let's see oh here's a here's actually a, a good uh tip here uh, it's an offer uh hyper paradise is offering ten dollars if you would take four excedrin pills from that excedrin jar right next to you and push them into the peanut butter on the top of your head to make them like jewels, like you're wearing a crown. For 10 bucks, that's super easy. You just gotta put 10 pills and stick them up in the peanut butter. And make them look like they're jewels, you know, like a king's crown. Etc. four. 
I'm, I'm not doing that because I'm I'm disorganized. My 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 mental. Well, the, the, the excedrin thing is right next to you, and all you gotta do is take out four and stick them in the peanut butter, you know, like vertically, like they're jewels. That's it. Okay, and you can salvage them later if you want to rinse them off and put them back in the jar. We no, you don't rinse them. You never rinse off. You never rinse okay. off. Well, after. it seems like you have enough to go around to spare. You're getting 10 bucks for it. So. More than $2 per excedrin. So just stick four of them so they're sticking out like jewels. See, you keep going for that other side. That's not where the peanut butter is. It's on the other side. There you go. Yeah, it's anywhere. Just stick them up. There's one. Yep, there's one. I can see it. Try to get them closer to the front. Two. Done. And one one more. Uh, uh, two more closer to the front, please. And last one. Look how easy that was. All right, this is another Tom's tip. This one is uh, from Caravella Voicemail. So it's another Perry Voicemail. And this one says, why? Okay, Perry, oh, can, can, you, hey, can I get through it without interrupting me? Because somebody did pay for this. So I'm going to get through this. Thank you. Tom, this is Perry. It's 2 p.m. my time, which makes it 2, 3, 4, uh, 5 p.m. your time. I thought this over for a long, long time, and I finally see the light. I will no longer go after all those Instagram whores, and I am fully devoting myself to my one true love, Dylan Mulvaney, the new Bud Light spokeswoman. What? God, what a sweet piece of ass she is. To all those other whores I was chasing, let's go down the list, Tom. Gina Carano, dumbass. Can't stop herself from being scammed by my whore sister-in-law, Danica Patrick. She's not a real NASCAR driver like I'm a snowboarder. She sucks. Jennifer Aniston, a total bitch. She has mood swings faster than the Mets got eliminated from the playoffs last year. Uh, side note, Mets weren't in the playoffs. They were in the uh, wild card, and we don't even count that. Scarlett Johansson, one word to describe her. Ew. She-Hulk? Beautiful, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. She-Hulk's not even a real person. She's as fake as my skateboarding career. Now, if you kindly, please get me Dylan Mulvaney's phone number so I can get in touch with this amazing woman who will no doubt rock my world, thank you. Good day. I'm not, I, I don't know what Dylan... Dylan Mulvaney? I don't know of a Dylan. So, uh, these are surprise surprises to me, so. I know a lot of beautiful women out there. Hey, Perry, it's Pat Fallacy. Just wanted to let you know the 40 packages of Backwoods are on the way so you can blaze up that good good. What the fuck? <clears throat> there's no the, the, there's no fireplaces here so whoever sends fucking uh fireplace firewood is a fucking moron whoever ever ever throws their money away and i repeat throws their money away on fireplace wood <clears throat> is a blithering fucking moron Perry, I was upset about you being attacked, so I donated ten thousand dollars and a new Toyota truck to your charity hand jobs across America. Really? <clears throat> Donated? Well, thank you.
I don't believe it, but thank you. Hey Perry, I saw you rocking at the bow. When you did Master of Disguise, it was way better than that Pirates of the Caribbean looking Jaguar. Uh, wrong. Lizzie is the creator of that song, so Lizzie gets all the awards for that song. Good song. Um, I am going to take a wild guess and say that you're in a compromised position to open other mailbag right now. Correct. All right, we'll just continue on. Peanut butter thing Attention on stream, this is an official announcement. Perry's middle name is not Francis. It's Francis. F-R-A-N-C-E-S like the plural of France. Sorry, dumbass. It's Frank. Like Grandpa Frank Giuliano. F-R-A-N-K. Blithering, blithering, lying, blithering, fucking moron. Stupid fucking assholes. Call me Francis. And you were subscribing. Thank you, Perry, Tom, Team PCL and all you amazing fans who have been so supportive and caring. I love you all. Can't wait to meet you, Pottstown, Perry. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Allie. Looks, the egg is still going strong, so thank you, Allie. And F cancer. Ouch, ouch, ouch. <sighs> Perry, I could never be with a man who is addicted to colon cleanses the way you are. It's sick that you let your mom suck the poop out of your butt. My mom doesn't do that on a regular basis. That was done when I was a young kid. And uh, these blithering assholes that keep fucking saying that uh, I get colon cleanses all the time is just fucking stupid. God almighty. Oh, God. Sick fucking asshole. American maple are from maple trees that grow and is terrifying Tim so much more popular than you. Is it because of your sexual orientation? I don't know what in the fuck this message was or said or meant. It was just so ridiculous and redundant and stupid. It's Gina. Chrissy told me to ask you out on a date. I was thinking about it until I found out you banged Jenna Jameson. She's a cripple now. Gross. I don't know what happened to Jenna, and I'm very sorry about what happened to Jenna. Uh, I hope... I don't know why she's crippled, and it's a very sad matter, but, you know. That was years ago, though. My God. I mean, that was that was well over. It was in the nineties, late nineties, when that all went down. So I didn't know you back then. You didn't know me back then. Now you're an older woman. Now I'm an older and wiser guy. So I mean, it was well over twenty years ago. Well over twenty years ago. Bear Bear, you decorate an apartment with lovely portraits. Soon I'll visit so we can paint the walls of your anus white with my semen. Love you. Blow it out your fucking ass, loser. Dang, you were subscribing. Perry, welcome back. Hope you're well. The Rainbow Jihad will start with you, my Salama brother. What the fuck? 
Don't don't give me this jihad shit because I'm not gonna. Uh, I got no remarks about that crap. It's not in English. I want nothing to do with it. Thank you for subscribing. It's Tammy Faye. I can't believe you're fucking that slut Lizzie Borden. She is oh gross. God. Her tits are small, not huge like mine. And where's my picture? It was thrown away a long time ago. Got it. Next. What'd I tell you about that, Perry? Come on. Stop saying it. I'm sorry. I I'll, I'll accept your apology. picture away and I'm I'll accept your apology, Perry, but stop saying next. It's a nude. Don't tell Tammy Faye, but I'm fucking Lizzie Borden. What a nasty slut. Oh, Want a double teamer? I'll cover you both in nudes, Splooge. Nudes, go away. Why don't you turn a fucking Detroit special into a Toyota, would you? Make the car worthwhile, Detroit loser. You forgot the surgery you demanded that I go through. I traded in my double jointed pussy for a girthy meat treat and had my tits shaved down. Eggplant. Men holding hands. Eggplant. You're sick. Oh, shit. Thank you for subscribing. I'm a doctor that has a special practice. I think you are an excellent candidate for this new treatment I have developed. Are you interested? Absolutely not, because I don't know what the treatment is, and I'm not going to take, I'm not going to, you know, go into a doctor's office that I have no clue about. Am I interested for a new treatment? A treatment for what? Jackass? Don't even explain yourself. I'm a new doctor, bing, new. And a treatment. Well, well, what's the treatment? You're not going to tell me what the treatment is. I, I want nothing to do with you. Crook. Thank you for subscribing. I'm coming to steal a thon, but don't worry. I'm not stealing anything. I just want to rub my nuts on all your silverware. You're not allowed in my home. And if my home is broken into and stuff is stolen, boy, there's going to be a humongous lawsuit going on. A humongous lawsuit. Number one is invited over for a steal thon but that won't stop us as I have a key to Perry's apartment. We are stealing everything and I'm taking the credenza. Get the fuck off my stream. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Perry, how will you be responding to Sirax calling you out? He's challenging you to duel. Says you consider him a threat. Is this true? What the fuck are you talking about? I don't know these people. You know, I'm not a fighter, so stop trying to Talk me into fighting somebody, okay? I'm not a fighter. I'm not part of the fighting crew. I'm disabled. I have a head injury as well as uh, three neck surgeries. Jesus Christ. Hey, Perry, uh, can we try to open up some light mailbag? Where if you can just get like one handed, like something from the. No, no, there's nothing to open anymore. Yeah, because uh, I, I, I just, don't want this peanut butter going all over right, my body. But with your okay? good hand, with your good hand, I'm just saying. There's just, nothing that I can reach for. Okay, well, you can reach into the sack with your good hand. I just looked at the quota. Not... Perry, listen, I just looked at the quota, and we haven't yet completed enough to qualify this as a mailbag stream. So there you go. You can open that. Just rip it open. You don't even need scissors or a knife for that.
How to pick locks? I'm not interested in learning how to pick locks. We nobody knows what you're talking about, Perry, because of course you never showed anything. But please read the note. And you don't have to put your glasses on. Just do your best without the glasses. Oh, now, now, now it's read, read, a, read a note blind. Not blind, Perry, but you can put it close to you. I'm trying to make it better for you. Oh shit. Here is Todd Amy. Here's the luck. Here's the book you wanted on how to pick that fat loser Perry's front door when he's out of town. Now you can have all them, all his money, as well as his credenza, snowboard, and, and uh, lubricant collection. Ha ha. From the Pink Panther. Oh, fuck off. How to pick locks. You gonna save that? Yeah. And then it gets thrown in the trash. Or burned. <sighs> okay, grab something else, please. And that's it, because dude, this shit is gonna get everywhere. No, we got I'm about fucking... a half hour. We got about a half hour left, Perry. So stop being a child. Half an hour with this shit on my head. Yeah, you got it real rough, Perry. This shirt goes in the trash. Was there a note? Garbage. Garbage. I thought that looked kind of cute, but okay, grab something else. Another Larry King love letter. Larry King, prostate, uh, prostagenic. This looks like spam. This looks like spam mail, Perry. This is not mail bag. You can just throw that away. While Larry King still working at it, still still making sure people know about all those still, supplements and still pills. promoting the prostagenics. Yeah, I, I I took it and it works and everything. Did that? Did you ever take garlic? That was another one he was pushing. Garlic, not yet, but uh, yeah, you should look into prostagenics that. does work. I don't know what garlic is for. I don't know either, honestly. But uh, no grass grows on Larry, that's for sure. I mean, I got nothing bad to say about the guy. It's just... Uh, he was sending me the same stuff. So, All right, this is a letter. My name is Hector Car Cardiff. I'm the owner of uh, Cardiff Electric uh, 
publishing and editor of a new magazine, Better Homes and Credenzas. You could be great for our upcoming issue, celebrity credenzas and what they what they keep inside. But mind your own fucking business, fucker. We would like to schedule a day to send send one of our photojournalists from the from our Hollywood. I don't give a fuck. You're not allowed. From our Hollywood office, uh, Hollywood for. Photograph the credenza and interview you on your home decor and entertainment uh, career. No. Please respond to our message on Instagram at, at your earliest convenience. Better homes and credenzas. Victor Carter, 41, uh, <clears throat> 41 Seaver Way, Queens, New York. You're not allowed. Not allowed. Idiot. Wanna interview me about my fucking late mom's bedroom dresser. It's a great piece of furniture, that's what I'm gonna say. Oh shit. I'm not I'm not a sucker eater. So suckers go notes first, please. Notes first. Oh Christ. Dear Perry, we have included more, more uh, stickers for you to place on your microwave, refrigerator, or Kia. I, I don't drive a Kia, so no, this is all garbage. <clears throat> And there's stickers. And I'm not placing this on my car. You're out of your fucking mind. Bill Pullman. And the period. Hey, it's great the, that you uh, can see these, but can you at least understand that you're streaming and the audience needs to see I know. Them? Okay, you're here. Sticker. William Perry, Jersey. Not going on my car. One. Bill Pullman. I don't know what this is all about. Ralph Bellamy of the 90s, whatever. And then Richard Simmons making this comment, which is absolutely stupid. So these are all garbage because they're not. And the et cetera and one et cetera and came off my head. That's okay. It. Right. It's fine. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. Now the letter said we've included more stickers for for you to place on your microwave, refrigerator, or Kia. That that stream that stream may master of <clears throat> thanks stream master your biggest fans Mike and Christina. P.S. I included some DRPs. Oh, Christ. When Scarlett or Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton, come to your apartment to help you seal the deal. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. DRPs are garbage, so they're all trash. All trash. Okay. Celebrating your lab superpowers oh, oh, a calendar for 2023. I don't need a calendar in 2023. 
Yeah, I think that's again more spam mail period. We're just looking for real mailbag. Let's get one more mailbag. A good pick a pick a winner. Let's see what this is. Got a CD here. R. Kelly, write me back. I know nothing about R. Kelly. Is there a note? Hang on. Stallone Cobra. Stallone movie Cobra. Set this. All right, you can just throw those away. You don't need those. Throw those away. Hang on. Dear Perry, we've noticed the abundant space in your apartment for CDs, movies, and and knickknacks. So we have sent a few items for you. Also. Also, we have included more stickers for you to place in your microwave, refrigerator, or Kia. Go fuck yourself. Fucking sick fuck. Feminist, Satanist, and coffee, and feminist, Satanism, coffee, and cats. Oh, you're stupid and sick. Margot Robbie. You're turning the frogs gay. Go f Again, go fuck yourself. Ow, 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 ow. I think we're good for now, Perry. We're good for now. Uh. Perry, this talk of smoking is me fired up. So I started smoking cigarettes because of you. Smoking's cool and I know you're cool. So let's rip some butts. Cigarette. No Romantic smoking. Face. If you start smoking cigarettes, you're going to be done with me. End of story. No smokers in my life. Period. Cigarettes, pot, I don't give a fuck. No smoking is allowed in my home. No smokers are allowed in my life. It's Lil Six from the mayor's office up in Chi Town. We bout to run this motherfucker. We trying to find a gay celeb to be the Pride Parade King. Can you? Oh, hey. Uh, I have nothing to do with you. your stupid remark. Go the fuck away. Idiot. Can I start vacuuming all this shit up? Uh, yeah, you know what? <clears throat> we might as well do that now. Uh, b b before you dart away, before you dart away, let's yes. uh, have a good idea of what we're doing. So any mailbag items, including those stickers you don't want, any mailbag items that you're throwing away has to be vacked up, including the food you got, which would include the brownie, what's the left of the ice cream, and the Subway sandwich. Okay, like open up the face of the sandwich. Oh, shit. Right, mm -hmm. and then all of the peanut butter from that jar, including the peanut butter from your head, and I would start with your head first, okay? And that's how we'll get that off there, okay? So let's go that delicately, please, and bring the shop back over here. A lead shop back, I should say. This fucking thing. Get out of my way. 
Get the fuck out of my way. Okay, we'll sit down in the chair first before after you. No, pay. I gotta fucking hook it up, asshole. Okay, hey Perry, does that does that merit you calling me an a hole? Me asking you to sit down Sorry. first. Have you heard me call you any names today? No, I'm just I'm just filthy with this shit. I, I on get my it. Head. I get it. I get it. But we don't have to call each other names. Again. Oh my god. Oh fuck. All right. Well, he's going to pee again. So if you're tuning in late, or you're watching this later, uh remember Monday starts an hour later. Uh starts at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. East, and that's going to be the case through probably the end of June. And then maybe we'll keep it if people like it. Maybe we'll go back to 4 p.m. I don't know if, you know, one hour makes that much of a difference to people. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. When you hear that noise, you know he's close to coming back because that is the toilet seat slamming back down onto itself. It's amazing what this microphone picks up from that far away. Okay, Perry, if you could sit down first, because I'd like you to do the first part sitting down. How? Well, I'll tell you how. We'll, we'll explain it. First, I want to do a Tom's Tips while you still have this on your head. Uh, here is a Tom's Tips from our friend Lou Sassel. And he says... Perry, why do you look like Mohammed Atta? And what is all over your head? It looks like poop. He must have tuned in late. Peanut butter's on my head. Oh, shit. Okay, so this is what I would like you to do. While seated, I'd like you to start with the shop vac, cleaning up the peanut butter on top of your head. Obviously, don't let it suck the towel in, but at least get that part, and then we'll move on to part two, okay? It's going to suck the fucking towel in. Okay, well, hold it, hold it. And if it does, you can get it out. No big deal. No big deal. Right? It's going to be a huge deal because it's going to go everywhere. No, it won't. It's just going to go into the hose. That's what it's going to do. So before you turn it on, Perry, uh, just get that part that's on top of your head. You don't have to get every inch of peanut butter off the towel. And then you can take the towel off and we can move on. Okay? But let's start with what's on your head. And I would use the camera as reference. had to do a little bit of the towel instead of calling me names okay towel parts done now let's move over and get that uh, ice cream and brownie from earlier let's make that part two and then we'll stop and go on to part three okay no no perry don't, please don't dart away i want to just do this let's just leave the towel there you can clean up after let's just get and get all those stickers let's put the stickers in the sunday and get that done because you want all mailbag that you weren't going to use Ow! and put that in the uh just those stickers that you threw away. Not the Larry King spam mail. Yeah, a couple of those. A couple of those will do. Mm. 
just grab whatever you can, Perry. You don't have to be 100% on this. You know, I think a good idea, Perry, you know, there are some children in your building. Why don't you leave that microwave in the lobby and just leave a note on it, like, free toy microwave. Please feel free to take it. I think some kid, you know, coming in your bed. I mean, it's bad enough a child has to grow up in that horrible complex. The least you can do is bring them a little joy with a free toy. Got nothing to do with the complex. There's nothing wrong with this complex. I'm oh, oh really, free. Perry? Uh, the events of last week would prove otherwise. There's plenty wrong with uh, that. That is just one fucking person. Not hey, Perry. Here. Hey, Perry. Like that. Hey, Perry, please uh, don't show your idiocy to the whole world. I'm just saying it'd be nice to put the microwave <sighs> in the lobby with a note on it. Instead of throwing it away. Free toy. Free toy. Feel free to take. Sorry your child has to live in this environment. Ah. Okay, so put the stick... Hey, Perry, wait, turn that off. Turn that off. Okay. What were you going to say? Well, d don't turn it on until I tell you to turn it on, please. Now what? And Well, I'll tell you now what. Can you please sit down? More stupid shit. Yeah, more stupid shit. That's our brand, Perry, if you haven't caught on to no, that by now. No, no, it's your brand. It's not my brand. No, it's I'm the fucking... brand of PCL, Perry. It is our brand. It, 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 it is garbage. Our, it is our brand. Anyway, you got to show this on stream. So get the brownie and the ice cream and show them with the stickers in there. And we're going to shop fact that. So you're not paying attention. Shit. Okay, so no, I know you want to turn that on. No, we're not turning it on. Turn it off. Hey, Perry, turn it off. Perry, turn off the shop vac. No, Perry, we're not going to turn on the shop vac unless you and I tell you to turn it on. We're not going to do any of your cleaning. You can do that after the stream, okay? You're going to listen. See, you're not listening. We're over here. Straight ahead, Perry. Hey, Perry. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, well, pay attention and you will know what I'm talking about. Who is this again? Hey, Perry, you're not funny, okay? Pay attention. I'm not funny. No, this is not funny. No, no, Perry. This is I, disgusting. All I want you to do is pay attention. I need to end on time today. So pay attention and stop being a pain in my ass. When you do the second part, you're going to put the stickers in the ice cream and then do the brownie and show them on stream. And then you're going to stop the shot back and then we're going to move on to part three, which is going to be the peanut butter. Okay? Thank you very much. Let's get on with part two. But they got to be shown. I don't even see where the peanut butter and brownie is. So can you please show them on Where's camera? This? Yeah, it's got to be in frame. Ah, peanut butter. No, no, peanut butter put down. That's part three. We're not doing the peanut butter now. If you would have listened to what I said, you would have heard that. Okay, we're going to do the peanut butter and brownie and put the stickers in the ice cream, what's left brownie. of the ice cream. Yes. Okay, brownie. No, no, don't put it down there, Perry. Leave it on the desk because you're going to shop vac it. I mean, geez, Louise. How Fuck! Many yeah, if you'd listen one time, I wouldn't have to explain it ten times. And you want to put this, no, not the peanut butter. Leave the peanut butter on the floor. Leave the peanut butter on the floor. That is part three. Okay. The stickers go in the ice cream. The stickers are not going to fit in this little hole. Well, th they'll fit, Perry. That's a big vacuum. They'll fit. Put the stickers in the ice cream, please. Thank you. Jag off. I know, I'm a jag off. Call me all the names you want, Perry. Just put them in there. Just drop them in as is. God. Ow. 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 Perry, instead of walking and working in slow motion, just put them in there. Thank you. Okay. And this has to be done on frame. So you want to put it in your hand, turn the shop vac on, get the brownie ice cream and stickers, and then stop the shop vac, and we'll pick up for part three. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, I said and brownie. Perry, 
no, no, without darting up, without darting up, you can throw that away when we're done. Please put that back down. Without darting away, let's just get I'm the. I'm gonna move it. Okay, Perry, just get the now oh, get wow. the peanut butter jar back on the desk, and now you're gonna shop vac all the peanut butter in there, and please don't slam it. Thank you. Although you already did. No, we're not cleaning, Perry. We're not cleaning. Defiant cleaning. Perry, we're, not, we're not cleaning. We're not doing any defiant cleaning. You do that later on your not own time. Not cleaning, of course not. No. So, peanut butter. Just take the lid off and suck up all the peanut butter in the jar and show it to the camera. And that's moronic. That's, and it's going to be a bitch to clean out of my fucking vacuum. You fucking losers. Right. Well, you were paid two hundred. Well, fucking losers. Great. Well, you can. All of you fucking losers. Ah, fuck off. Uh, I take that back uh, for Perry screaming. <laughs> Got the subway sandwich. You gotta do the subway sandwich too. This fucking shit. This cleanup job is gonna be fucking horrendous. Oh, but you don't give a fuck. No, well, Perry, no. You can think about the two hundred dollars you made on this offer, okay? You're not doing this for free. You got paid for it, so stop. Okay, well, do, the, do the sandwich. You gotta unwrap it. You gotta unwrap the sandwich. That's right. You can you can work out the rest later. We're we're done as far as the stream is concerned. We're done with that. Peanut butter's so, fucking it all right. up. You could fix that later. <laughs> all right, Perry, turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Perry, if you can hear me, turn it off. What? Turn it off. Keep it off. That's enough for the shop vac. Enough. You did enough. Why don't you do this? Why don't you take it out and suck it with your mouth? You're good with that. You like peanut butter. Go fuck off, fucker! Fuck you, motherfucker! Go fuck yourself! I just thought fuck I just made you like peanut butter. You can kiss my ass. And you fuck you! You fuck! You don't have to call me names, Perry. Sit down, let's I'll finish up. Perry, turn that off. Turn that off. Hey, Perry, turn that off. Seriously. We're done. Well, sit We're down. We're done. We're fucking done. You can take your pots down. Fucking fuck. Okay, Go enough. Fuck yourself. Perry, sit down and say goodbye to people, Perry. Stop acting like a maniac. Goodbye, motherfuckers. No, that's not how we say goodbye. Please sit down. Read your plug. Stop being a baby. Fuck Stop being a child. Loser. All right, I got it, Perry. Well, I'm trying to wrap up, Perry, if you can't tell. So can you sit down? Get and... out of here. I'm done with you. Okay, I'm d that's great. You can be done with me when we say goodbye, Perry. So can you please sit down and say goodbye properly and stop being a child, please? Thank you.
Thank you. Great. We're over here. Can you please pull up and let's finish up this stream, please? Thank you. Okay. That means move into position, Dude, Perry. What's missing? You can again. Fuck. All things Perry can do after the stream. Yeah, where's the fucking plus, motherfucker? Well, Put Perry, if you'd sit, if you'd sit. No, you're not gone. You're gonna sit down and do your job, Perry. I help. Hey, Perry, did I help you a lot this week? Did I help you a lot this week? Answer that question. It's a yes or no question. Did I help you a lot this week? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so stop being a prick and move up and let's go. I'm tired of this fucking stupid shit. I'm tired of. And, okay, and, well, and if, you stop, if, Perry, if you stop, if you stop, that man goes in the trash. If you stop acting like a maniac, I can get through it. So stop talking and pay attention. Hey man, sorry about what happened. You last have had good laughs from you, Tom, Mole, and Care Buddy. What the fuck is that all about? He said he's sorry for what happened to you last week. He has good laughs from you and I and Mole and some other loser. Okay, we're going to move on. Pay attention, please. We're over here. Thank you. Oh, shit. Hi, I am coming to Love Receda Boulevard after work. I can't wait to meet this cool about our new Pablo. Again, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. It's... Don is lying about my cause of death. It wasn't a heart attack. Perry, stay away from Mary Jane. Don't get syphilis like me. That ancient skank. I want nothing to do with that, any of you. Any of you. I Dirk hold a wiener. I has a bucket of wieners I need to get rid of, but I can't shove them up my because I'm not gay. I going to flush them down your toilet. I'm not gay either, loser. Happy gay, yeah. The other gay, uh-uh. My women Harry, forever. It's Sebby. You forgot who I am. I played a cop and bird's eyewitness, and I know you went into my play with my titties. They're massive. What? I played an eyewitness. I, I, I don't know who you are. Yeah, Perry, you know, you're, you seem dopier than ever since that attack last week. Uh, the bird's eyewitness, the movie you did, there was an actress you worked with named Debbie, and that's who that was. Oh, okay. Thanks. Pleasure. Are you so protective of the credenzas because your love letters to Randy Callahan are in there? I'll find them Get during the steal if I find out where. Get off my motherfucking stream! Motherfucker! Kiss my fucking ass! Hey, Perry, stop. I'm stop, I'm Perry. Perry. Stop. You. Stop. Put them my... The on no, it's right not, Perry. No, what did we talk about before the stream? Stop being a child and put that back. Put it back right now. Why are you always sucking on my titties like you wanted me calling me all the time? Hashtag J4M, 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 hashtag Bye, loser. Perry. The tailor at Valsurf says a 5XL jacket and 56 waist are too small for your morbidly obese corpse. A surveyor's tape will be needed to measure you. Okay. Sit down, Perry. Sit down right now. Shut up! Don't tell me to shut up. Sit down. Oh, God. Oh, I'm tired of this garbage. Oh, shit. All right, Perry, here's your favorite part. Try to do a good job on these. Uh, 
Visit our website for official PCL merch. Right? Yeah. PCL merch. There we go. Oh, it ain't. No other way, Stooge. Right there. PCL merch. PureCareVillaLive.com. Access media, share, streams, phone calls, and bonus content. Patreon.com forward slash PureCareVillo. Subscribe on YouTube. YouTube.com forward slash Live. Order a Cameo. Cameo.com forward slash Perry Caravello. Uh, Excuse me. Join our Facebook group. Facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Perry Caravello. Share your pets on Facebook.com forward slash groups. Again, excuse me, forward slash PCL pets. Join the Discord, discord.gg forward slash Perry Caravello Live. Follow us on Twitter at P underscore C underscore L underscore official and at Perry underscore Caravello. You find me on that every so often. Follow us on Instagram at Perry Caravello Live and at Perry Caravello, which I'm supposed to be on. But we had a glitch with Instagram, so uh, until I get my Instagram back, you will not see me on Instagram. Follow us on TikTok at Perry Caravello. If you want to send Perry mail, send the mail and all your free money to Perry Caravello Live, 18960 Ventura Boulevard, Box 209, Tarzana, California, 91356. Thank you and good day, folks. Wait, hold on, Perry. I got another Tom's Tips here. Uh, this one is from our friend Matt Ice. He actually gives me an important update about the uh, auction uh, going on uh, in your apartment. This just in, the steel a auction. There is no auction in my apartment. Please so be quiet, Perry. So there's nothing to read, loser. Please, please be quiet, Perry. Nothing to read, motherfucker! Please be quiet, Perry. Put the mouse back. Put your phone down. Put the phone down. Thank you. This just in, steal auction is beginning now. First up for auction, Perry's Credenza. Opening bid, one SAG voucher, one SAG voucher. Give me one, give me one. Two, do I hear two? Can I get a two? Amazing. Three, do I hear three? Yes. Sold the Credenza for three SAG vouchers. Next up for bid, Perry's Showerhead. Perry's Showerhead, opening bid, one SAG voucher, no, one SAG voucher no, here. No, give me one, give me moron. one. Two, do I hear yeah, two? Can I get God, a two? Two, God. amazing. Do I hear three? Three, yes. Sold Perry's Showerhead for three SAG vouchers. Next up for bid is Perry's Piece of Crap Trophy covered in dust and grime. Do I hear one SAG voucher? Do I hear two SAG vouchers? Do I hear three? Sold for three SAG vouchers. And there he goes. See you guys Monday. Have a great weekend. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being so cool. PCL for life. See you Monday. Ricky Horny, Ricky.